Typically, when I do enameling, I just use a torch. But in reality, especially for larger projects, a kiln is much better. But for commercial kilns, even the smallest and cheapest ones, they still run about $200, and you can only do small, about 2-inch projects with them. And that's not going to work for the project I'm working on. So, I decided to build my own. In the past, I've built my own smelting furnace. Now, I made several mistakes in that furnace project and it ended up dying on me. But lucky for you, I've learned from those mistakes and you can too. Now, I made some mistakes in making this simple kiln here. But for one that can get up to almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, smelt glass, fuse metal, and only costs about $100 to make, we're not doing too bad. All the controls on this are manual. And one day I would like to make one with a door, electronic controller, and whatnot else to make it much better. But that's going to run you about $400 to make. So for now, how do you take angry pixies from the wall, convert them to heat to where you can fuse glass? Well, the answer is surprisingly easy. And let's go on that journey together. I wanted to show this part on camera because when the last uh, smelting furnace that I built, uh, which I didn't ever make a video of, uh, but it didn't work anyway, so, well, it, it worked, but uh, the last smelting furnace that I built, uh, I did it wrong. And it eventually, uh, the, the wires going in eventually broke down because, I mean, you think it's easy, you think it's a simple solution. Uh, you need to get electricity into box. Sounds simple enough. Problem is uh, that electricity also has to be able to handle several thousand degrees on the inside um, and not transfer all that heat outside. A little bit of heat is going to be transferred outside, but anyways, last time I just put copper wires through. Um, didn't end up working out so great. What happened is those copper wires ended up degrading, just turning to green mush. Uh, in, inside the insulation um, and so what I'm going to do this time is use these four inch pieces of stainless steel rod um, they're quarter inch 20 thread uh, I believe that's 20 threads per inch and what we'll do is 
take these pieces of insulation on the inside and the outside and smash them down with washers here. The reason why we're using stainless is because if you use zinc plated steel, which most uh, nuts and bolts and everything are, uh, that zinc will off gas uh, zinc oxide uh, as it heats up and it's toxic. And You saw me putting the bolts in and getting them insulated. I took the liberty of going ahead and putting uh, this top panel in. This is because this top panel is actually the insulation. I'm trying to compress it as little as possible with those, unlike the other ones where I was trying to compress it a bunch to keep everything stable and in place. Um, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is insert this which has our heating element and I've attached it using these homemade stainless steel staples sort of things. Uh, just fold them over on the back. I've got the slits cut in to where it should fit right in here pretty well. So the bolts are just barely poking through. It probably should have made them a little bit longer inside here. Um, I was trying to do it about two inches because I know this uh, insulation is about an inch. Um, and I probably should have done it more. But, Lessons learned. Lessons learned every day. Next, we'll be putting bolts and these small washers um, to hold this in place, and I'll just let you see that. <laughs> 